everyone, it's your girl Shay here, back with another video for you guys. And for this week's Monday video, I'm going to be doing a game review. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but it's a new mobile game that came out. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, you probably already know about it. You're probably already playing it. And it came out about two weeks ago, and that's the game Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. I was so excited when I found out about this game because there have been so many rumors about a mobile Harry Potter game coming out and then those rumors finally became reality when it actually was announced that there would be a Harry Potter game releasing for mobile devices. Now there also were rumors about how and what would this game be about. Many people thought it would be a mobile game similar to Pokemon Go where you have to basically walk around the city learning new like charms or spells and going on from there. But in reality, it's not like the Pokemon Go game. It's actually more so similar to other games such as the Kim Kardashian game and other games like that. Basically what I mean is in the Harry Potter game, the whole premise of the game or the whole storyline of the game is that you're attending Hogwarts. And basically your brother was expelled during his time at Hogwarts and has now come up missing. What he was doing was looking for the secret vault or the cursed vault at Hogwarts and that's how he got expelled. Now this all takes place about 10 years before Harry Potter and his whole crew start at, start at Hogwarts so you're actually there with a few faces that you might know from the movies and the books such as Nifedora Tonks and also Bill Weasley. But you don't meet them until later on during your time at Hogwarts. A lot of it is literally like just tapping and doing the action and if your energy is down or you don't have any more energy left, you have to wait for the energy to basically recharge and you can continue on with your quests. Some quests take a lot longer than, than others, so some quests actually take a couple of hours to actually be available so you have to wait for that. So it's a lot of tapping and waiting, but it is still very exciting. You first start out in Diagon Alley, meeting up with a character, which is a, whether a boy or a girl, depending on what you choose that you are, whether it's a boy or a girl, and they then become your friend. From there, you get your spell books, you also get your wand, and you also basically tell this new friend of yours a little bit about yourself. And you also get shown your Hogwarts letter. From there, you also like say what your name is and so on and so forth, and you get to create your own character. There isn't a lot to choose from when it comes to hairstyles or clothes at the beginning of the game because that is stuff that you have to buy. And yes, this game can take real money if you don't have enough coins to buy the hairstyles or clothes that you want. But one thing I will say is that it is also a little bit exciting because all of us want to experience buying a wand at Ollivander's and in this you get to. When you go into Ollivander's shop, he kind of asks you a couple questions and then from there it determines what your wand is. I think mine is has unicorn hair in it and I wanted one that had phoenix but that didn't exactly end up happening. From there you take the train to Hogwarts and that is where you're sorted into your house. I'll be honest, the sorting process was a little bit lackluster for me. I thought the sorting process, process would be similar to when you go on Pottermore's website and you get to take a quiz and it determines what house you're in. But no, when you play the Harry Potter game, you just choose what house you would actually prefer to be in and that's the house you're in. I chose Gryffindor because Gryffindor is the house that I actually got on Pottermore and I have a lot of other Gryffindor stuff that I purchased and bought such as a cardigan and also socks so I had to go with Gryffindor. And from there your journey begins. You attend classes while you're there and you also of course have some side stories and you also of course have to win the Quidditch Cup which is the house cup obviously so that you know your house will win it pretty much. And you also have the quest of trying to figure out why your brother got expelled and trying to see if the cursed vaults are actually real. And along the way, of course, you also have someone very similar to Draco Malfoy, whom is your enemy. Overall, the game is a lot of fun, but I'll be honest, I actually thought it was going to be a lot more to this game compared to what it actually came out with. I'm very hopeful for later like updates to this game to see if it gets any better. The whole tapping thing when I found out about that made me very reminiscent like I said before the Kim Kardashian game. Yes, I played the Kim Kardashian game. But the only thing is that I haven't yet learned in the Harry Potter game where you can tap to get energy without having to wait. So that's just on me though. And those of you who are like, what are the quests pretty much like? Basically it's going to class, it gives you a certain minute, certain amount of hours to complete it. And basically once again it's just tapping. and then. 
one cool thing though that I will say when you're doing quests or doing anything around the school sometimes is that to make a wand movement you actually have to like go on your screen and like do the actual movement and then it'll say like brilliant or it needs improvement. There's also one where you have to tap in this circle and once again you have to tap on this green and if you once if you do it right once again it's brilliant or it needs improvement. It took me a little bit of time to learn the whole circle one but once I got it down I'm actually pretty good. But once again, like I said before, play this game if you haven't already. If you have an Apple iPhone, you can actually download it from the App Store. And if you have an Android, I'm sure you can find it in the Google Play Store or whatever store that you have that's on your device. This game is free, but there are in-app purchases if you want to buy more energy, buy more of the little diamonds that you need, and also if you want to buy more coins. Those are things that you have to use to actually buy like the hairstyles that you want or the clothes that you want to buy as well. But overall, if you're a Harry Potter fan, this is a great game to play if you want to continue the Harry Potter journey since there are no more books and there are no more movies. Unless you're following the Fantastic Beasts and then there's a little bit more. But like I said before, I want more from this game. I know there will be more from this game, but I'm enjoying playing it. And I'll be honest though, there are some days that I don't play this game because it's I don't know, it's just kind of weird. But yeah, let me know if you've played the Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery game. Comment down below, let me know what you think of it. Would you guys like me to do a gameplay of this game? Because I would love to try that because I haven't done that before. And is there anything that you would want to see in this game if you have been playing it? Do you think there's some improvements that need to be made? Or do you think that it's actually pretty good? But yeah, like always, be sure to Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and also, of course, stay nerdy. Like always, I'll leave links in the description box to all my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog. I have a new video out for you guys on Wednesday, and have a great day, you guys. All right. Bye.